from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with the Buffalo Bills. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Here's Allen on first and ten. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. of six. And the Bills' first down. First down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And now they'll throw with Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Singletary here running out of the gun. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. It's caught left side by John Brown. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. No dice for Sean McDermott and the offense. And this crowd into it early. Their guys stand tall on the opening drive of the football game. Well, 
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brad, I know where they're only going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The last run got six, now second and four. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities. And if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Mahomes firing complete, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Not much there, only a yard. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. 38-yard line, second and nine. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this is incomplete. Mahomes pass thrown away and incomplete. It's now third down and nine yards to go. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Mahomes to throw once more. And Robinson with a big catch. And out of bounds on the yeah, other yeah, side of midfield at the 45. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Now they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And again, it's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they'll get this down to the 10. 12 more yards there and another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly fit. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes with a touchdown pass to Sammy Watkins. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. And his kick is good to make it 7 0 KC. Good. Makes the score Chiefs 7, Bills nothing.
Harrison Butker. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out. So I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. <laughs> Snap comes at one, and it's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And Beasley with it over the middle. A gain of six there on first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Allen from the gun on third down. He can run for it, and he will. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Touchdown, Buffalo. Taking it in from the 20. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Well, they were backed up on third and goal. And when you saw him start to scramble, my thought process was he'll get what he can and maybe get out of bounds. But he got a little bit greedy there. And in this case, greed was good as he got into the end zone. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7 now as they kick it away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And able to get this out to the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. At the 37-yard line. Now Mahomes. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Ed Oliver that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the return will stop right around the 25. Intercepted by the Bills. They'll take over first and 10 at the 25-yard line. So after the INT, it's Allen over the middle, and it's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. And now it's second down. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger points. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And now he's going to use his legs. He turned that into a nice gain. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. On the tackle. A gain of eight yards, and it's third down. That's the end of the first quarter. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. They'll run for it with a fullback to Marco. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First down, Bills. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. And able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Short of the goal Four line. yards on the play. First That's going to lead to first and goal. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. They'll look to run with Moss. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Bills have taken the lead. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score Bills 14, Chiefs 7.
Steven Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. Here's Hardman on the return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Give him six on the play, and it's a second down. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Hand it inside. Quarterback tucks it and keeps it. Quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. It's caught on the right side, Williams. Complete. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now it's Mahomes again. And that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that. It seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down now. Singletary, and he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Bills on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away.
That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return, and the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 yards there, first down. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice gain. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. On the carry. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Mahomes. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. Butker's kick here is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Taken about seven yards deep, and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They'll start on the ground with Moss. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On 
on second down. Singletary. And this will go for five up to the 33. Singletary, the Bills. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Bills on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for this with Moss. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And he finds a man on a crossing route. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Allen. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down is Allen. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So from the 36 now, first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He'll try and run it. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Allen. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Hauschka with the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. Here's Hardman on the return. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. And going deep for Hill. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 74 yards. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21-17. the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away and this carries into the end zone and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here you're under a minute to go here in the half field position not really in your favor but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range yeah you've got the lead it's definitely a thought let's go ahead and try and increase it but at the same time I don't like the odds I don't like where they are in the field Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up. And going to halftime, looking at each other, wondering what if. And his pass incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Allen. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. A final shot before half for Allen. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. On first down, Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And they run the option here on first and 10. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. And Oliver made the tackle. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 42-yard line. Second down at seven. Working from the gun, Mahomes. 
Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Oh, Travis Kelsey unable to pull it in, and it's third down. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. But it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened, having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. Here now Roberts. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here. Didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion, Derek Nadi makes the tackle. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. From the gun, Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A gain of 13. It's a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. to throw again. Allen back to Brown, this time complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there and a first down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Bashan Breland. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you could do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Mahomes now on first down. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Mahomes now on first down. Kelsey, left side. And he gets it down to the 32. 
They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover it? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Mahomes to throw once more. Man open left side, it's Williams. And he'll go down at the 28. And now a stoppage for an injured player, and that is Damian Williams, who's still down. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Final pick in this year's first round. This is Clyde Edwards Alaire. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL. And Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's gonna get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. From the 27, Mahomes. That's who is running back, Edwards Hilaire. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Yards. Okay. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they stop him short of the first, as he can only get to the 20. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Butker's kick here is good, and that'll bring him back within a point. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. now to return it and they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. the bills offense coming out ready to take over and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window i think you are i don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go ah totally didn't affect me let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On the move to his left, and he's going to keep it here. 
Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Here's Allen on first and 10. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. From seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I always laugh seven. when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. He's got the hook up to John Brown on the right side. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him think. What do you mean by that? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. They'll run on first down. Singletary. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? On second down now, Singletary. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. From the gun, it's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Singletary, they'll run for it. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's a gain of five. And the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. They'll look to run with Singletary. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. On the ground, it's Singletary. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills will extend their lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And with that, the lead is up to eight. He is good. Makes the score Bills 28, Chiefs 20.
Steven Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. Here's Hardman on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one-possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 right at the 30. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Robinson. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. On play action, it's Mahomes. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And that's gonna be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. And it's third and short. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. The Chiefs on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. There are a lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. First and ten, here's Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way and is much more successful as well. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. From four yards out. And the Chiefs are a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. But he is not going to make it. It's a big play by the defense, and they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. 26.
Harrison. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Allen now on first down. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. On first down, Singletary. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Singletary again. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. Allen's pass intercepted. The Chiefs take over first. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And he'll with it over the middle. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Call that a very strong gain of 24 right after the turnover they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are gonna jump back in front. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to five. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away.
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 26. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Allen. Short throw hauled in by Croft. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again, Allen. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Rolling to his left. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 48-yard line. So the shotgun snap to Allen, and Beasley with it over the middle. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. They like going to him in the slot, he catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well, great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Allen, off the play fake. to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. First down. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. It's complete to Brown, right side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. First down now, but that clock rolling. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. He'll run it. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. First goal at the three-yard line. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. Back to throw. Allen for the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Let's go, let's go. 
They'll try to run this one in. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Now the Bills will hustle to the line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So this defense, they looked a little shaky to start the drive. The bottom line, they're a play away from finishing it off. They rocked them a little bit on this drive, didn't they? But as you and I both know, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. They have a chance to end it right here. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Now Allen steps away. He takes it. Oh, no, he lost the football. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. And they'll try to run it in with Singletary. And he will not get there. He comes up short. And they're unable to push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. Kauschka now to send this one away following the score. Here's Hardman on the return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Patrick Mahomes in the offense. Down by one. 30 seconds to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. throw now a desperation throw deep downfield this is caught inside the 15 the Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over they have a little bit of time left here but this one not going to go their way and this is where in this situation for me you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. This will be caught at about the five. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. now how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal a field goal would give them the late lead they'll run it with Williams and he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two yard line the Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is indeed good. And a 
it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street-free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. on the return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Back out of the field now comes the Bills offense. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Allen hit. He lost the football. And he will fall on this himself, but get no further. So certainly intrigue all the way to the finish line, but that is how this ball game will end. Bills. Going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.